Hi everyone, welcome to Try This. My name's Nick. Today we're going to learn about air pressure and its amazing characteristics. You'll be sure to impress your friends with what you can do with just a stream of air. For this experiment, you'll need a few objects that you should be able to find around your house. The first thing that you'll need is a blow dryer. Next, you'll need a ping pong ball and a regular balloon. With these three objects, we will conduct our experiment. The first object that we'll experiment with is the ping pong ball. To start, take your blow dryer and turn it on low. Make sure it's blowing cool air and not hot air. After turning on the blow dryer, take the end of it and point it upwards, blowing air towards the ceiling. Now, take the ping pong ball and put it carefully inside the stream of air blowing from the end of the blow dryer. The ping pong ball will remain inside the stream of air. Now, you can change the angle of the blow dryer by moving it from left to right. The ping pong ball will remain inside the stream of air even as it is moved from side to side. We can now try this experiment on a larger scale using the balloon. Make sure your balloon is blown up and tied off. Once your balloon is ready, take the balloon and place it inside the stream of air. Like the ping pong ball, it will hover and remain inside the air stream. Because the balloon is lighter, it will hover higher than the ping pong ball. But why does this happen? The ping pong ball and the balloon hover and remain inside the stream of air because of Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that as the speed of air increases, the pressure inside the airstream decreases. This means that the pressure outside the airstream is higher. The ping pong ball and the balloon are kept inside the low pressure stream because of the higher pressure pushing in. Now that you can manipulate the laws of physics, go try this! Thank <laughs> you.